Right, got some food. Let's get on with the day. Gary, where are you, Gary? Where are you, Gary? How does she find you? Sainsbury's Mill deal, football, and then we're going to go and do some exploring. So I was kind of unsure really what to do today. Um, I don't want to travel too far, so I've just stuck around my hometown, the proud city of Dunstable, which is kind of where I'm at at the moment, the city. <laughs> the car park in Dunstable Town Centre. So I got some shopping and uh, I kind of went to the Dunstable Downs, the local attraction Dunstable, and uh, sat there for a bit. But the uh, I wanted to watch the football, the football team play, because it was an early kick-off at half 12. And um, the network coverage wasn't great. So I moved closer to Dunstable, into the centre, watched the game for about 20, 25 minutes, and then the connection cut out again. So lovely. So I've moved closer um, into the town centre and I'm just sat now in a car park which is not what I thought would happen today it's not kind of what I was expecting but, but there we go um, I'm nearly home I might as well just watch this at home oh, oh, I thought it was a scratch then but it's not I think that's just, that's just dirt so yeah there we go that's where we are at the moment <coughs> Just got the engine running at the moment because stupidly I uh, <coughs> I forgot to um, charge up my laptop so I've got the inverter on um, charging the uh, laptop in the, uh, the back of the van obviously that's just charging off the main battery and uh, yeah just sat in, sat in the car park in the town centre of Dunstable but, uh, but look I did say um, in my previous video um, and for anyone who didn't see that and you may not have seen that um, <coughs> um, I've just got over Covid as per the uh, the cough which has been lovely but yeah I was uh, we had Christmas in pretty much all in didn't do too much went out on Christmas Eve and then uh, New Year's Eve which I think, I think that's how I got Covid great um, silly me um, and then spent the next sort of couple of weeks in isolating and obviously getting better so it's kind of like my first I've had a couple of days in the office at work this is the first kind of proper day out um, yeah doing anything meaningful by myself I love my family but uh, yeah just kind of sort of felt like it would have been good to have just uh, I just wanted to get out and do something um, you with a wife or, or by myself and as it turns out it's uh, it's by myself on my lonesome but i had no plan i had no plan so it was like what shall i do got some shopping in uh, sainsbury's my local sainsbury's and then uh, i thought well i'm gonna watch the football which i'm doing right now <coughs> there we go um uh there if that's gonna come out um uh, and then there was no plan. I've... Oh, bastard. Just to see if they go. Oh, this happened last time I started recording. I shouldn't record when I'm watching a game because my team bloody goes, uh, concedes a bloody goal. Um, but yeah, there's, I've got, I've got a, an idea for a park up spot and a bit of a walk. So we'll, uh, we'll get filming that, uh, soon. So, um, yeah, that probably the next for you see. Yes! Almost! <laughs> Go on, boys!
Okay, so annoyingly, I did pack my walking shoes, but I didn't pack them into the van, I left them at home. So I'm on the Converse today in this wintry, muddy environment. Lovely. So this is Ivinghoe Beacon, or the, the National Trust car park that is, well, Ivinghoe Beacon. And this is actually where I met um, Tim from Socks of Sandals, actually just over there where that yellow and blue van is. But uh, Tim pretty much just slept in the car park and then kind of went on to the next destination, it was like Milton Keynes or something he went to, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you more. I shall show you more of the area, which is, part of the Chilterns and really nice so let's kind of look oh man the worst footwear <laughs> at the worst time Whoa, 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 whoa. Nearly <laughs> <laughs> went. <coughs> Rest in peace, Converse. There's no way I'm not going over. I am going to go over. Arse over tip. Definitely. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at this. <coughs> so this is, I'm probably going to title this video as a winter camp because it is, what's the date? 15th, yeah, I was going to say mid, no, bit of mid November, mid January. It is mid January, so bang not quite in the middle of winter but well into it at least well nearly a month into winter so <coughs> um there we go but me being me i think it's rained for a couple of days um and because it's been quite cold i thought yeah the ground would be whole uh, hard maybe frozen <coughs> yeah i was wrong and I was wrong not to bring my walking boots. I did pack them, but the all important part of not bringing them, not, not putting them in the van was not done. But anyway, this is Ivanhoe Beacon. <coughs> we'll do the walk down to, from the car park to the, uh, the Ivanhoe Beacon to kind of the, the main viewpoint. And, uh, <coughs> Yeah, I bring you along with me. So um, this is how this goes. Yeah, I kind of wore. I didn't really wear outdoorsy gear. I've got my super dry jacket on. I suppose that kind of counts. But otherwise, I'm pretty much just in normal gear. Um, I'm warm enough, but the footwear is completely wrong. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> I'll be honest. The rest of the stuff that I'm wearing is just uh, stuff I've already worn and I just thought I'd get more, i get another day out of it. It's one of those because I knew it was going to get muddy in some respects. I don't want to get dirty in some respects, so uh, there we go. But anyway, <coughs> onwards we go to Ivy High Beacon. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I was just about to say, and then some people will come along, and I thought I got all nervous. But I was just about to say that I was saying to my wife this morning that 
me going into Dunstable basically and then just a bit into the Chilterns wasn't didn't sound that exciting of a prospect I mean I'll enjoy it because it's camping and just getting out of the house and I'll enjoy it. I enjoy going anywhere in the van but I wondered how that would transpire into a, a worthy YouTube video on my channel well fucking hell look there's proof there's proof of it because basically although I'm kind of very capable in my job and in general my overriding characteristics are that of a dipstick and I'm proving that now <laughs> look at this what I've got to get I'm gonna I'm gonna do it because I want to I want to see the view from the Ivanhoe Beacon, which is really nice, and I wanted a, a good hike because I've not done one so far this year. Oh, bloody hell. Um, oh, sake. Look at this. Once I get past this bit, I think I'll be all right. He says. The visible chalk of the Chilterns. <laughs> Up there is where I'm aiming to get to. <coughs> Nearly there. But for now, this is a pretty good view. That's where I come from, that over there. Done. Normally I go back on myself, but I don't fancy that muddy trail back. I can see the car park over there, so I want to go this way. Down here, the car park is over there. And my sense of direction is telling me that I'll be able to go right at some point and then make, your way back, make my way back to the car park. If the next time I turn this video GoPro camera on and it's pitch black and I'm lost, you know that was the wrong decision.
that's pretty cool so that way heads back up to the arming hoe beacon that way i'm pretty sure heads back to the car park well i hope it does anyway and that way heads to the astridge estate um kind of smack bang in the middle of the uh chilterns or depending on how you define the chilterns really but um yeah for anyone who knows the area the astridge estate and the monuments quite a nice um bit of land to kind of uh go for a walk a hike or whatever you want to call it what you want to do there we go that's rich where i've just come from I didn't realize actually that was the ignilled way yeah i've no beacon awesome you'd be pleased to know that i made it back i've gone by the road just to avoid the mud but this is pretty nice nice kind of sort of woodland area kind of going back to the uh the car park so so the gopro has just died a death i've heard other people I've, other people say this dodgy about the gopro and i've got the gopro 10 is it 10 i forget which one i've got now the one before the last one anyway the newest one and it just every now and then it just has a fit and it just doesn't do anything like it corrupts files it just cuts off it just stops working have to change the battery like what's going on gopro jesus not you're not cheap what's going on anyway thankfully i'm nearly back so um get back to the van chill for a bit i want to get a good spot because i'm kind of at the back of the car park whereas at the front that's kind of where the nice kind of view is overlooking uh, the Chilterns and the Ashridge Estate or just Ashridge in general so I did want to kind of move to the front but obviously I did want to keep a, um, a level space as well because I'm gonna I'm gonna stop for the night so yeah see if I can do that before we lose the light completely it's kind of the current situation of the car park so I was kind of up there and then I come around and now I am at the front T4 behind me I'm here and then I've got that nice view I've got some mud here because I've got my buddy flip flops on but um, yeah that's the view I've got in front of me Uh, yeah, happy days, just chilling. I drive it for yourself. I can drive this a thousand more times and just shoot it completely different. Foresty Forest, forest I'm coming for you. Crossing. I'm gonna go left on this dead end road tonight. Uh, it goes over to a hike that I can do tomorrow. That way is also a part of the Hayduke Trail. I don't know if that's as well known as the BC. That looks like Dunstable! Through hiking route here in Utah. And I don't think you can just like set out and. Right. This is how I'm cooking tonight. Bloody annoying. But the gas, for some reason, the hob is just spewing out gas. Um, I don't know if I've just not got the the uh, the gas container hooked up properly. But it, every time I put it on and then turn the gas on, it's spewing out the actual canister. So I'm like, whoa, no way. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not playing about with that. So. There we go, we'll try with this. Seeds of wheat that have been put down for the birds. Do you know what? Tonight was supposed to be the first night where I cooked properly in the van, on the hob. <coughs> and like, just, even though it's not the most complex meal, I thought, yeah, I'll show off some of my skills, but the van's let me down, man. So anyway, always thinking. Got the uh, I got a little portable gas stove going. So I got the food cooking outside. So that's that's something. Buy it. I've got Mediterranean vegetables. I've got chicken. I've got hummus. I've got <coughs> Greek style flatbreads. But do you know what? I'm hungry and for the sake of having to cook the chicken as well I'm just going to cook the veg up 
cook the bread, <coughs> slap a load of hummus on the bread with the uh, the uh, the veg, Mediterranean vegetables, and then chow down. That's gonna, that's that's going to be the meal tonight. I'm still going. It's taking ages to cook some bloody veg. Christ Almighty! Okay, just got to sort the bread out now. Oh, ow! There we go. Sorting the flat breads out. And I can finally eat dinner. I'm hungry. That was actually pretty good. It was on. Didn't use a chicken, but I've got the flatbread. I've got the um, hummus. So slap a bit of hummus on. It's been a long time in the making, this damn bloody meal. It's not that difficult, but it's a while. Mainly just to get the um oh just get the heat up on the bloody portable gas hob that was the uh, the main thing and there we go there's our uh Medita mediterranean veg so get that on god that's never all going in that is too much oh i'll tell you what just get it on it's veg so you can eat as much as you want, right? It's healthy. Apparently this is a gold beach. Mm. So, just chilling i tell you what if if this channel grows in any way just i'm just chilling chilling that's just chilling i'm just chilling that's gonna be my on my merch that is gonna be like my saying because who doesn't like to chill chill is it makes the world go round does it not this year i really want to i want to i want to discover more music um and especially on the local scene definitely but um in the last video, I played um, a, a song by uh, one of my best friends' um, band. Uh, they're called the Sun Dog Collective. And, um, yeah, I, I featured one of their songs on, 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 the, on, on the video. And uh, just it's, it's funny, just randomly, just on, just got on YouTube, one of their videos come up as I recommended as I... And it's, it's one of their live... Um, videos from a um a festival they did um the beautiful days festival um but yeah i anyway, i digress i'm gonna uh in the uh in this bit with uh a bit of my uh my friend's uh videos oh no you can't probably see me again can you <laughs> just about just about to see my face. Can I turn the bright light on this thing? Ugh. Screw it. We're going to go with this effect. You can just about see my face. I'll turn it in for the night. It's not actually that late. It's like nine. It's nice. It's nice. We're just to fresh air and just getting around after being here for so long. Christmas and now with COVID. But yeah, there I am. Ooh. 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 <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, I'm ready for bed. So um, I see you in the morning. Three, two, one. Good morning. That was a good sleep, actually. Not bad at all. Um, the van was kind of the the ground. I was going to say the pitch. It's not counting the site. Very just in the car park. 
Yeah, but the ground that I parked on wasn't level, so that was that was a little bit of fun. But ah, you just you just kind of level, you try and level yourself out, make the best of it, kind of keep swapping sides, and uh, I slept all right to be fair. Anyway, so I am um, a bit of a tip for me to anyone who um, hasn't realised or doesn't know or just a bit of a wally like me. I couldn't get my gas to work last night, so I was playing about with it. Um, obviously, I connected it, but every time I then put the, I turn the gas on, I could hear it. And obviously, I could smell smell the gas coming out of the uh, of kind of the pipe here. Um, it was connected, but I could hear it. I could hear it coming out. I'm thinking, no, no, that's not good. And I worked out what the problem was. So this. Um, it's pretty much just this, uh, the little red band that sits on, um, uh, God, I'm terrible with the terminology, but you know, this kind of part here, where obviously the gas flow is uh, going up to the hob that had popped off and was just down the, the side. So, um, uh, I found that stuck it on, reconnected and, uh, we're cooking with gas now. So happy days. Um, actually, let me just try and, uh, and then we should hopefully be hopefully we should be all right now he says yay that's good uh, i'm glad i sorted that out The very first thing I do, apart from going for a toilet, obviously, um, is to make a cup of tea. Absolutely. Look at that. Yeah, we're cooking with gas now. Happy days. <clears throat> Not a bad view, this. Very nice view to wake up to. I mean, there's one other van over the uh, over the back there. Yeah, the yellow van there. Look, boop, boop, boop. they've been here all night, but uh, otherwise it's just been me. Oh. Beautiful. There I am. Parked up in the bloody mud. Hope, I'm, hope I don't get stuck. That'd be bad. I nearly got caught short this morning. Couldn't believe it. So I um, woke up. Only had to detail, but um, I needed to go. Um, and I was I was packing all my stuff up in the van because I thought I've just got to get home. I live like 10, 15 minutes away, so it would have been... Yeah, it was. It would have been a quick drive home, and a, an abrupt end to the trip would have, which would have been disappointing, and and this video for that matter, which would have been a shame. But um, yeah, thank you, nature. Thank you, uh, Ivan Hobie. Can you um, you sorted me out. Staple of the Indian economy up here. So Boom. apart from the fact that these newcomers came here. Oh man, I definitely didn't think this through. <laughs> definitely didn't think this through. So, pretty much packed up. The sun is up. So, uh, I can actually see what I'm doing now, but um, yeah, I was going to show you around the place. It's a very muddy place, but um, you can't really see much, to be honest, so that's a bit of a shame. I was hoping I'd be able to see some views. Dare, uh, dare I even say at the sunset, but uh, there's no chance. It's... We've got the views yesterday, at least. 
and uh, on that little mini hike that was nice let's go down here and see if there's anything that I can see better and pretty much no that is the view there we go there's me up there we'll get going it's been a good trip <laughs> Right, that's me done. Muddy feet, muddy as hell. Um, there we go. That's uh, that's what autumn and winter does to this land. Makes it all choppy and muddy and all that good stuff. But it wouldn't be so bad, Scott, would it? If you'd remembered your walking boots, silly boy. <coughs> anyway, that's me done for another little trip. Uh, not the most exciting, but actually really quite nice. It's one of the reasons why I love camping uh, in a, a camper van so much um, is the, just that ability to get away um, whenever you want, um, wherever you want to a certain extent. As I've shown, I've kind of done urban kind of park hubs in, in cities, um, campsites obviously, but if you can find a nice little uh, car park, National Trust car park, park up spot, you can find a load of them on uh, on Park 4, the Park 4 night app, um, and it doesn't have to be miles away, this is this place is literally on my doorstep, 10-15 minute drive, and I think you'll find in most places there's a park, a woodland, a, you know, hiking trails, whatever, um, you know, and as I say, as long as you don't take the mick, you're discreet about it, you know, you don't make a nuisance of yourself, it's just a great way to just get away from everyday life and um, just have some time to yourself and uh, and uh, and enjoy nature. It's, it's so peaceful up here, um, and it really uh, it really gives me the ability to recharge my batteries. And uh, yeah, and who knows? <clears throat> who knows what uh, what adventures you might find? So um, I can't recommend it enough. This is, this is great. Anyway. Time to go home. Thanks for watching.